Slowly but surely, the world is beginning to accept something that was hard to believe at first. India didn't just defend itself in the recent India-Pakistan conflict, India won, and that too in style. Experts, analysts, and even military historians are now acknowledging what many refused to say out loud at the beginning. But what made this victory possible? If we had to sum it up in just one word, it would be Akash Teer. Never heard of it before, right? You're not alone. Even the world's top defense experts didn't see it coming. But now the world is trying to catch up. So what is Akash Teer? Imagine a system that can detect incoming threats from the sky like drones, missiles, fighter jets and respond instantly without even waiting for human input. Yes, zero human delay. And the best part? It is 100% made in India. No foreign chips, no dependency on the US, Russia, Israel or anyone. Built by DRDO, Bell and ISRO, this is India's own AI-powered air defense system. Now let's rewind a bit. After the Pahalgam terror attack, on 7th May, India took out 9 Pakistani terrorist hideout places in a quick operation. In response to that, Pakistan launched Turkish Swarm Air Attack drones, followed by Chinese-made PL-15 and Pakistan's own Fateh missiles. Now these were aimed towards Golden Temple in Amritsar, another at Vaishnu Devi, and even one aimed straight at Delhi. All of them were intercepted within minutes. And then as you know what happened on the night of May 10th, early morning 1.44 am, India struck hard. 11 Pakistani air bases and 4 nuclear sites, all taken out in coordinated strikes. This was possible because of Akash Teer. It allowed India to see, plan and attack all in real time. Satellites from ISRO like Kartosat and Resat gave detailed views and images of the strike locations. India's own GPS system, that is Navic, helped with navigation. And by the way, this one is better and more accurate than the American GPS. Then stealth drones like Sky Striker made by Adani. They are small, fast, invisible to radar. They went in with explosive precision. So all these different cutting edge technologies are integrated into one powerful brain called Akash Teer system. The vehicle you are seeing in front of you, that's not just a launch platform. That's the mobile command center doing the impossible calculations in real time. What's truly mind blowing is that this system can reprogram targets mid air. If the enemy moves the target, Boom, the algorithm recalculates on the fly. No delays, no human bottlenecks. Just pure autonomous decision making happening in real time. Now that's what shocked the world. The speed, the precision and the fact that India pulled it off using fully indigenous technology. This is India's own version of Iron Dome. And honestly, it may well turn out to be better than the Iron Dome. At first the world didn't believe it, but soon the truth came out. Austrian military historian Tom Cooper called it a clear victory for India. He pointed out how Pakistan had no credible response and Pakistan's DGMO called out India asking for a ceasefire. Another expert, John Spencer from the US Modern Warfare Institute said it loud and clear. India's indigenous technology worked better than China's or Turkey's imported weapons. Let that sink in. China's systems failed. Turkey's drones were outsmarted. Even US supplied Pakistani radars and AVACs could not detect India's stealth drones. And now Pentagon is in a review mode, trying to figure out how did India do it. Beijing is silent, quiet as a statue, not a word. Meanwhile, Turkish defense experts are basically hitting control all delete desperately looking for upgrades of their systems that just couldn't keep up. Looks like the world blinked and India leapfrogged. Now what makes Akash Teer so special? Let me break it down. Imagine this, the moment a threat is detected, Akash Teer's AI brain kicks into action. It's like the nerve center of a living, breathing battlefield. Troops on the ground, radars in the skies, satellites orbiting above, and mobile war rooms. Everything is connected. And it is not just monitoring, it is reacting in real time. Now into this system enter the swarm drones, small, fast and smart. These are not your regular surveillance toys. They are flying in coordinated groups, each carrying jammers, mini explosives or recon tools. The idea behind this is to confuse the enemy's radar before they even realize what's coming. And while all that chaos is happening, Akash Teer stays in stealth mode, slipping past Chinese and Pakistani detections like a ghost in the sky. These drones and systems are designed to be invisible where it counts. But here's the scary part. For the enemy, there is zero delay. Akash Teer doesn't wait for orders to travel up and down the chain of command. It sees a threat, calculates a response and acts within seconds. All thanks to real-time AI coordination. 
and it doesn't need some fancy control center either. This beast can be pulled by a jeep in the middle of a field. It's mobile, rugged and deadly accurate. So when you put it all together, the AI brain, the swarm drones, the stealth, the instant response and the mobility, what you're really looking at is a full-blown theater command system, not just for defense, but for domination. No foreign satellites, no NATO support, pure Indian innovation. This wasn't just about winning one conflict, it marked something much bigger. India did not just defend, it went offensive. For the first time, India's not catching up, it's the world chasing us. In an age where wars are fought not just with soldiers, but with drones, data and stealth, India has quietly taken the lead. Israel might soon be knocking asking, hey, can we buy some of those Akashti drones? Now this is one of those moments where India did not just surprise its enemies, it surprised even its own citizens. Nobody expected India to come out this strong, this advanced, but it did, quietly, confidently. Akash Teer is more than just a defense system, it's a symbol that India has entered the age of self-reliant, high-tech warfare and India can innovate, strike and defend on its own terms. And for our enemies, Akash Teer is a message, don't mess with us, we are ready. I hope you found this video informative, I'll see you in the next one.